Hello, everybody out there on YouTube. Once again, it is the three middle-aged guys just bullshitting about nothing. I am the Reverend. The theme here. Great Mouse One. And this week was the week of GamesCon 2016, held in Cologne, Germany. Uh, one of the bigger gaming conventions throughout the year. E3 was a few months ago. GamesCon is, uh, happened just last week. And just like with every convention, every trade show that involves the industry, there was a lot of media going around and a lot of trailers and a lot of news coming out of it. In which case, what we're going to do is that we're just going to go ahead and argue, give our quick thoughts about some of the more notable things that came out of GamesCon. Uh, of which, a lot of effing trailers, a lot of games trailers, uh, which is probably what we're going to spend the majority of this particular video talking about. In which case, I'm going to open up the floor, guys. What trailers or what games did you see or even get more information on that you have quick thoughts on? <laughs> I know there's something that we're all going to talk about. We're going to say that to the end. <laughs> Do we yeah. have to? Yeah, because we're, going to spend a, we're probably going to spend more than a few minutes on it. Um, basically, oh, well, for the most part, this was just a wash, rinse, repeat of E3. I mean... Minus the hardware announcements. Say again? Minus the hardware announcements. Okay, fine. But there wasn't that much of a difference. Um, if anyone was expecting anything extravagant as far as an announcement from a certain company or even like mind-blowing footage from a certain game, I mean, many were ultimately disappointed. But that's just the way the gamble is. Yeah. Um, People, I mean, wow, ReCore actually got some re, got some gameplay footage. Yep, yep. Wow. They took a step forward. Yep. That game was announced in 2015. Yep. Anyway, um, but it was m much more of that. Oh, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 7 got some more footage. Hmm. Okay, fine. But nothing really stood out to me. Not, not this time. Not in a positive way. <laughs> what about you, Grey Mouse? Was, was there anything out there that, that stood out to you? Uh, well, I was glad to see, um, theme said, uh, Recore. I was glad to see some gameplay on that. And also, I was really glad to see some gameplay on Scalebound as well. Wow. Um, looks like we can actually uh, modify, or we actually got to know about the dragons a little bit more. So there's like a tank dragon, dragon, a speed dragon, and, and like you know the various. So I'm kind of glad to see that. Um, I uh, saw a little bit of the uh, Final Fantasy 15, just a little bit. I didn't watch the entire trailer. Um, pretty much the same as it was all the, the gameplay demos that they've shown thus far. So I wasn't really impressed or or put off in any way for that. Um, that's just off the top of my head. Yeah, there was actually <clears throat> one of the things in general that uh, that kind of impressed me about GamesCon, and I know that yeah, it's a smaller it's a smaller industry convention in comparison to E three. And it, no, it's not going to have like the jaw dropping or announcements or, or revelations or stuff like that. Sometimes you get surprised by a few things. But one thing that, that I, I appreciated from a lot of the trailers that they showed out there was a, I'd have to say the grand majority of the trailers they showed were actual gameplay trailers. They weren't yeah. just CGI cutscenes right. and, and, and freaking, you know, full motion video, stuff like that. I can or, agree with that. Or, or like some sort of some sort of uh, commercial teaser. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun, dun. And then the title of the game, and then people were either cheering or booing. Yep. Although I think, I think that a lot of the companies hired the same motherfucking people who cut trailers for Suicide Squad because there were a lot of fucking pop songs and a lot of, a lot of top 40 music in a lot of the trailers. Okay. That, but that doesn't mean there wasn't a few things that I, I was I wasn't impressed with. Um, aside from the fact that a lot of them were were actual gameplay, um, it, they went ahead they they showed off uh, gameplay trailers for Injustice Two, um, which impressed me for the fact that it looks like the guys in Netherrealm finally figured out how to render a lady's face correctly. 
because the females look like females, at least from the face. All right. Otherwise, all they looked like was, you know, a walking set of tits and ass and something passing for a face that well, made some 13 year old put together. Come on. You know how WB does it. You know, yeah, pretty quick and dirty. But it looks like, um, it looks like if they, because literally it looked like they were using the Harley Quinn model from, from Arkham, uh, Arkham Knight, uh, you know, for, for the game, which when I thought about it, I was like, Hey, that was done by, that was done by WB games also. So I wouldn't be fucking surprised. Right. Uh, aside from that, the, um, other, other games that I was kind of surprised to actually see anything about one was a little game that wasn't shown off at E3, or at least not to my knowledge called little nightmares, which looked really interesting. It looked like a, like a, a puzzle platformer, a survival horror game. And it looked like the characters were, the characters, the art style of the characters kind of, kind of reminded me of uh, the designs that Tim Burton used for A Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> so it was really, really stylized. Looked like they were, um, like they were made out of a, uh, you know, uh, stop motion claymation type figures. Looked really interesting. The other one that, that looked kind of interesting to me, even when they int went into the gameplay, was uh, one called The Surge, which is an action RPG uh, that they put out, uh, that they announced, where it looked like there was... Um, it was action RPG with, with tactical hand-to-hand -hand combat, where hmm. you had a, a little bit of crafting and a little bit of uh, ex exploration and other things. Um, it was third-person which helped because the majority of the stuff yeah. that uh, otherwise was something that you could either play first person or, or look like it was done, designed for VR, which if you know me, I, I don't give a fuck about either one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the surge actually looked pretty good. Oh, come on. Yeah. You don't want the dun, 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 dun. No, I, I really don't care for it right now. Uh, like you I said, wanna... there's, so you don't want to do, you know, like Cyclops from X Men. Um, if they're gonna have to show me show me an experience, I can't get any place else. Okay. Well, this is a something that you can't get from. It, yeah, this is an experience, all right. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm. Like I said, if, if if all that boils down to is me playing a first person shooter game that tracks my, my head movement, I can pass. Thank you very much. You know? <laughs> All right. Um, was there anything else that you guys uh, saw that, uh, uh, that impressed you or actually kind of surprised you? Anything else off the top of your head, Jim? Then? Not, not, not as much as saying that I'm going to go buy a new console for. Yeah. That's one thing that these, most of the um, conferences are missing nowadays. I mean, come on. If you're watching this video, be honest. If you watch this um, Gamescom, did you see one thing that made you want to just go out and buy a console? Either one, if you don't already have them. If you're still on the fence about the, the Wii U, I don't understand why you would get it now. Or the NX or the Xbox One or the PS4. If you were on the fence, did anything that you saw convince you to finally just go get one. Most of the games were wash, rinse, repeats of what we knew that was coming and they just showed extra footage of it. They showed gameplay footage, but nothing new that was spectacular enough to say, I'm going to get that console tomorrow. No, that didn't quite happen. But that's I'll be it. honest, that that doesn't happen to me even looking at the games, that come, the things that are announced at E3 90% of the time. Okay. Just to tell you the truth. That, that hasn't been the case since, well, like I said, 2005, 2006. So what about you, Gray Mouse? Say again? What, what about you? Was there anything there that, that made you think, hey, this is something I really must have? The Zelda. Mm. Yeah, but you... You knew that was coming. No, yeah, but, um, we, we oh, talked. You already knew that was coming, though. <laughs> we, we, one thing is, Nintendo, I don't know. 
Um, so Nintendo showed more gameplay of Zelda. We expected that. And then we actually uh, got some more gameplay of uh, Pokemon um, Sun and Moon. So, but that's like, like the theme said, it's just a rinse and repeat from um, the E3. So, uh, uh, did they show For uh, Forza at all? Forza? Yeah, for Forza. I'm sorry. For for uh, for Microsoft? Yeah, on the Gamescom. Mm, they might have, but uh, that that wasn't one of the trailers I took note of. Funniest thing oh. about asking that and getting that type of response. Look at the response that you just got. That means that it's not much that matters <laughs> with Forza. Well, I mean, I I can I'd I'd imagine that they that it has its fans and it probably has people that are excited for it. Um, it's that it's just not me to be to be completely honest. Oh wait, are they supposed to be making a uh, a remake of uh, Yakuza two, three, and four or something like that? They're what supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. I think that was announced. Sega Sega announced that out, which is actually kind of cool. I um, think it's very cool. Especially since they said that they're not only going to be bringing it out to the PS4, but they're also going to be bringing it to PC. Mm-hmm. So, just hope that the PC is done correctly. Don't well, send it to the guys that did Arkham Knight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I will co-sign on that thought wholeheartedly. Believe me. Um, or, or the guys who did the Marvel Ultimate Alliance uh, fucking remakes. Because, yeah, that, that was something that people were looking forward to until they finally got it in their hands. All they had to do was just copy and paste that. They fucked that up. At least for one of the games. <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> yeah. 